Hey, this is Sarah with Olympic Kilns. Today I'm going to teach you how to cone fire your three key Bartlett controller for both bisque and glaze. So to start, you're going to press your start, stop, enter button from your idle screen. Your screen will come up either CFR or RHD. If it does say RHD, you just press your up or down arrow to move it to the CFR for your cone fire. You'll press enter. Your delay allows you to delay the firing based on how many hours or minutes you want before it starts firing. So today we're not gonna delay anything, so we're just gonna leave it at zero and press enter. For a bisque firing, which is the first one we're gonna program, is your preheat. So let's say that your, your wear is slightly damp and you just wanna make sure that it's all good and dry before you start its firing. We're gonna put in a five hour preheat on this one. So you just press and hold your up arrow as the screen rolls until you get close to whatever time you want to be at. So here we've got hours on the left, minutes on the right, five hours and five minutes. If your screen rolls past where you want it to be at too great of a speed, you just let go of your arrow buttons, allow it to set for three seconds, and then it will start moving them on an individual number basis again. So now we have a five hour preheat. Press enter. Now it allows you to choose your cone. This one was already set to a higher cone, but we're gonna bisque fire at cone 04. So we scroll down to your cone 04 and press enter. Here we get to choose what speed you fire your controller, your, your wear at. You've got fast, medium, or slow. In a bisque firing, most people will choose either a slow or a medium. Today we're gonna to go with medium. And here it allows you to hold for a time at your peak temperature. With a bisque firing, not really a necessary thing. So we'll leave that at zero and press enter. When the screen says ready, that indicates that your kiln is ready to fire as soon as you press the start button. So we'll press the start button, it'll start to rise in temperature, and then you'll hear your, your telltale mechanical relay clicks. Those clicks indicate that your kiln is firing and ready to go. So now we're gonna teach you how to do a glaze fire, which is usually a higher fire. Some people fire mid-range, some people fire high range, and some people fire in the low range. So today we're gonna to do a mid-range glaze firing. So from your idle screen, cone fire, CFR, press enter. Your delay, again, allows you to delay any firing by a number of hours and minutes. Today we just wanna start immediately, so we'll leave it at zero. Preheat, with a glaze firing, preheat's not really necessary. If you do need it, you can add it, but this allows you to add hours and minutes to a preheat temperature. Now for your glaze firing today, like I said, we're gonna do a mid-range firing of cone six. So from here, we'll go up in temperature to cone six and press enter. Now most of your glaze firings, a lot of people will fire medium or fast. So today I wanna to fire fast on a glaze firing. So we'll change that to fast, press enter. And here's where the hold time can come in. A lot of glazes take some time at the end to mature. So let's say that I know my glaze takes an extra five minutes at cone six to mature. So I'll put a five minute hold on. Remember hours are to the left of the decimal, minutes to the right. We press enter. Our screen tells us that we're ready to start as soon as we hit the start button. We press start. It will rise in temperature and give you the relay clicks. That indicates that everything is firing well.